All right, everybody, it's time for another Screw and Share episode with our favorite contributor, Glenn. This time, it was a final expense insurance scammer that called him, and he played him, and it was wonderful. Now, he did get called out at one point, which is pretty funny, but uh, he handled it well, and... Uh, Great job wasting their time, and if you do the and if you get calls like this, do the same thing. Waste as much of their time as possible, because they're just despicable, ugly people, and it's always a good thing. Madam, this call is about the state-regulated final expense insurance plan, and it is also designed to cover the burial, funeral, or cremation expenses at very affordable rates. So, how old are you? I'm 80 years old. 80 years old, okay. And in the age of 80, do you have, like, final expense insurance? No, I don't. Mm, okay. And I do believe in the age of 80, you make on your decisions, right? Uh, yes, I do. And are you a smoker or non-smoker? Well, I never touch this stuff. Okay. And in case if you uh, go ahead and you choose to take this coverage, so who is your beneficiary? Is your son, your spouse, or your daughter? It would be my my son. Your son, okay. And you are living in beautiful state of uh, Colorado, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And madam, you know, uh, people who have like saving or checking account, they got like special discount on it. So I do believe you have saving or checking account, right? Well, doesn't everybody? Mm. So do you have, like, saving or checking? Well, of course I do. Okay. And how do you pronounce your first and last name for me? It's Betty Johnson. Uh -huh. Betty Johnson? That's right. Okay, and Miss Betty, uh, do you have like any middle initial or middle name? No, my parents never gave me a middle name. Okay, so Betty, you know, as I told you before, it's all about like final expense insurance plan. So uh, I do have like senior specialists with me. So now I'm going to uh, connect the call to my one of senior. So he would like to talk with you right now and give you some more information and detail and a review with all the options. And if you have like any question, any query, so you can just ask, he will definitely help you out, okay? Okay. Stay with me, please. All right, bring on the senior supervisor. My name is Harvey, and I'm calling the American Benefit. Hi, doing today, Betty. I'm doing fine. You said your name was Arby? Yeah, my name is Harvey. Okay, Arby. You got it. All right. So now, Betty, I'm the state regulated benefit coordinator for the state of Colorado, and with that being said, I'm actually the decision maker who will help you identify all of the discounts and programs you call upon. And later on, you can tell me what to do, okay? Okay, I can tell you what to do all then, right. all right? <laughs> ah, yeah, perfect. All right, so now, Betty, there are a few incentive-based discounts that you might qualify for that I would like to review with you. So, for how long have you been living in the beautiful state of Colorado? I was born here. Ah, you've been living here for your whole life. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, Betty. And Betty, do you currently receive Social Security, Disability, or any other veteran benefits? Of course. Ah, uh, you do. Perfect. And Betty, lastly, do you use a traditional bank or a credit union? Well, I've got a bank. You got a bank? Perfect. You definitely qualify for some discounts now, Betty. Our state-approved plans, they're designed to cover 100% of your burial, cremation, or any of the following expense, and are usually paid out within 24 to 48 hours of notification, which takes the huge burden off of your family completely. You know, Betty, when they're trying to figure out where the funds are going to come from, right? 
Yeah, I guess so, yeah. All right. So, uh, Betty, uh, don't mind me asking, like, have you ever experienced any close family member or a friend passing, and, like, you had to deal with their funeral or final arrangement? Have you ever done that? Well, my husband passed away about two years ago. Uh, well, I'm so sorry to hear about your loss, Betty. But would it be safe to say that neither one of us wants to leave that burden on our family for loved one? Would you agree? Well, I guess so, yeah. All right, so we're going to do everything in our part to get this taken care of. Now, Betty... I'm going to be asking you some health-related questions, but before we continue, I would like to let you know that all personal and health-related information collected on this call is completely confidential and protected under the federal HIPAA law. So you can just answer my questions by saying yes or no, okay? Uh, what kind of laws? All right. uh, federal HIPAA laws. HIPAA? What's a, hip, what's a hip and a law? Well, it's, uh, it's the loss for your information to keep that, keep them confidential and it's not, you know, being given away to people. All right? Okay. All right. Now, uh, Betty, are you currently hospitalized, confined to a nursing facility, a bed, or a wheelchair? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Well, that's something you should be sure of, huh? Are you living in a nursing facility? No. No, you're not. Perfect. And are you using any oxygen equipment by any chance? No, I, I breathe on my own. You breathe on your own? That's perfect. That's perfect. And, uh... Do you have, like, any form of cancer diagnosed or treated by a medical professional in the past? No. No? That's great. And, uh, Betty, uh, are you taking any sort of prescribed medications on a daily basis, like anything for cholesterol, diabetes, high blood pressure, maybe anything else? No, no, I've been pretty healthy all my life. All your life, huh? Wonderful. And uh, how do you know Glenn? How do I know Glue? What? Glenn Ross. Do you know Glenn Ross? Who's that? Oh, well, that's, uh, that, I'm asking you. I don't know who's that. I don't know anybody by that name. I see. All right, so I have your age as 80, Betty. What's the exact date of birth? Oh, it'll be March 1st, 1944. March 1st, 1944. All righty, just give me a moment. He's got to do a quick calculation and double check. Good job, Glenn. And what's your exact height and weight? Well, I don't think that's any of your business. Hello? Sorry? Thanks for holding on the line. My name is Jack. Well, uh, Betty, Hi, Jack. Nice to, nice to talk to you. What, uh, what, what are you calling me for? I'm calling you from Florida. Tell us. Well, you just said your name was Jack. My name is Harvey, I told you that. Well, just a second ago, you said, hi, my name is Jack. Was that you? Well, I said, hi, my name is... No, it wasn't me. My name was Harvey. Well, who's Jack? Uh, well, you know better who's Jack. Well, I just heard you say Jack, or is that somebody else there? It was the guy in the background. Harvey, what happened to you? Are you still there? I guess he gave up. Next time. And they hung up. Well, let's see. That was about nine minutes I wasted of their time. What a good job. Good job, Glenn.
I thought it was funny that he actually called him out and said, Hey, do you know somebody died in the name of Glenn? <laughs> you should have said something like, Well, yeah, that's my pool boy. <laughs> that would have been funny. Anyway, looking forward to more from Glenn. Loves wasting time with the scammers. Wonderful job. I was really surprised. He actually went a lot further along than I have in a long time, you know, where they start asking all these personal questions and so forth. Usually we don't get that far, but that's he did a great job. But man, their script, exactly the same with everybody. Love it. What a bunch of arrogant a-holes too, you know? Good job, Glenn. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.